Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 18th, 2020. So yesterday we had a bull bear battle. They were just kind of going at it, duking it out yesterday, trying to gain control one side or the other, and left us with kind of some uncertainty in the price action. And that is still showing up again this morning with a little bit of uncertainty. So how about we buckle up, Grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Yesterday, we saw some pretty interesting price action. If we take a look at a, I'm going to go to a 15-minute chart. We gapped all the way down here, had a huge rally in the Dow, and then slammed into price resistance, gave almost all of it back, and then spent the rest of the day in a nasty, choppy little range here in the market. Unfortunately, we didn't resolve a whole lot overnight. Futures overnight were large largely flat to lower, except for the NASDAQ, which was the tech rally was trying to come back up. And that's also happening this morning. And then as we approach the market open, we get that morning pump. It seems to be standard procedure anymore. As we head into the market, we start rushing and trying to pump the futures up to inspire buying to come in. But as you can see, we've got a little bit of a mix going on right now. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart, see if we can glean anything from this information and try to decide how we want to approach the market for the day. Now, one of the things I, I need to point out is that possibility that we could be developing a head and shoulders pattern here on the Dow. Now, a, a lot sometimes way too much gets made about a head and shoulders pattern. Remember, a head and shoulders pattern must break the neckline before it really becomes valid as a head and shoulders pattern, which means we could find a support level in here and bounce right off of it. But we want to have that kind of in the back of our mind as um, we look over this market. Now, let's take a look at some of the trends. First, we have an uptrend that was broken and clearly that uptrend is struggling here or, or that bounce back up is struggling here after we broke those support levels and right now we are dealing with the resistance of those support levels in here with that lower high in the market now that lower high means that we have actually created the beginning part of a potential downtrend we have that lower high in place kind of an ugly situation but at this point in time, we haven't been able to break down below that low. So we don't have an official downtrend until we see that lower low come into play, which means this support level is going to be very, very critical in this chart. If we can hold above this area, we certainly have that opportunity to rally. But let's not forget that doesn't change this price resistance. So be careful if we do rally and push back up and push right back up into that resistance. Remember, we push it back up in here, we could easily turn around and fail again. So watch that closely and be careful how you plan those trades. Um, so much, you know, there's so much noise out there about just buy the dip, buy the dip, rush into the market. A lot of those people, one day, a lot of those folks are going to get hurt badly when that um, recovery doesn't occur. And believe me, there will be a time that will re uh, occur. So be careful with that and just don't blindly rush into markets when we're fighting a level like this and this uncertainty that we have uh, currently going on. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY and by the way, I'm not trying to spout a whole bunch of bearishness here in any way, shape, or form. I just want to help you protect your capital. I, I hate seeing traders that just can't sit still for a while and let the market improve. Let the market show them a direction. And we've got to always be in this uh, pressure cooker mode where we're, it's, it's as if we are in a rush to risk our money. So let's make sure that we have good price patterns before we 
jump back in and and just remember that every day is not necessarily a great day to trade the market and particularly with the kind of price volatility that we've seen uh, the very challenging market and if you would go back and look at your um, accounts over the last um, week and a half you would probably say man if I would have just backed off um, I'd be in a lot better place today so remember that and, and remember that, hey, we may just have to be a little bit patient. Set still here for a little bit. Let the market sort itself out. Let the institutions do the battling. As retail traders, we don't have to be involved in that. We can stand aside. We can wait for better price patterns. So here on the SPY, we have the same situation going on. We broke that trend. Um, we have begun the possibility of a downtrend, and yet we still have a price support in here. Whoops, there we go. Price support in here trying to hold on with a resistance level above where we've tested a couple of times and failed. So we have this little consolidating, wide consolidating range. It's been really, really challenging to trade. So as we watch this this morning, if we do get that bullish move, and you can see we've got the bulls pushing up this morning, this candle here, is representing this morning and as we push back up into this price resistance we want to consider that carefully that we have failed here a couple of times can we push on through this time or will we rally back into that resistance and turn back around i can't tell you that i wish i could um, I wish I could had a crystal ball to what comes next. But just remember, we have some uncertainty as we go into the weekend. We have uh, the, the election uh, coming around. We have coronavirus in the news as Europe is struggling with a spike in coronavirus and, and facing more shutdowns. A lot of things going on here. And we don't have a big news day with a light earnings day and a light economic calendar. So watch that careful. A lot of price volatility could still exist. Head fakes and reversals are certainly possible. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ is trying harder this morning in a push back up. You can see we've got some bullishness here in the NASDAQ trying to push that back up. And we did have a situation where we held Let's look right here. We held that 50-day moving average um, a couple, three times, but let's re remember that we have now failed that 50-day moving average and any rally back, notice these moving averages. This is the eight exponential moving average and a 34 exponential moving average. And the 50-day simple moving average is that blue line. So let's keep in mind, all of those are gonna be coming together to provide a little bit of resistance in that chart. And if we look at that, little downtrend they all kind of line up right here in this area so if we rally back into that resistance don't be too surprised if we see um, a struggle to break through here and that possibility of that pullback or that downtrend actually making that lower low so we'll want to watch that pretty close and remember we still have this price resistance up here with that big ugly bearish engulfing and another bearish engulfing candle here suggesting or capping that resistance level. So we really need to push back up through there and hold before we really get confidence of those bulls coming back into the market. As a matter of fact, it really wouldn't be all that much of a surprise to me. And it, it might be disappointing to everyone out here to hear that, but it wouldn't be at all surprised to me if we see this price range just continue to be chopped maybe all the way into the election. So kind of keep that in mind. We have some weakness out there in some of those big techs um, and a little bit of struggling going on in that index. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM has held up pretty darn well overall. And we've seen financials try to pick up. We've seen oil sector try to pick up and then get slammed back down. Um, we're holding up here above that 50-day moving average. We're pushing against some resistance in the chart. So let's keep in mind that we have a significant area of resistance here. We've failed that now once before. So let's watch that closely. And even if we push on up here in the NAS or IWM, keep in mind we have this level of resistance right up here that we're going to have to get through that 
is a bit more significant with a lot of price action back in here, um, maybe putting a lid on that. So let's watch that close just in case. And remember that we do um, have the beginning of a downtrend going on here. Any rally back up into that price resistance, we'll want to be watching that pretty closely just in case those bears do decide to line up in a a defense area here and attack on that area. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX has been one of those perplexing things and it just continues to be perplexing uh, to me. We can't seem to break the VIX down. Um, it It's and in my entire career of trading, I've never seen new record highs in the market being made when the VIX is this elevated. And yet we continue to remain up here and try to pretend this doesn't exist. But certainly this is creating considerable price volatility and quite the challenge um, here in the market. So taking a look at just the price action in this chart, let's make note of the fact that we do have some price support right through this area in that chart. And we did hold it as price support. Now, we're pushing back down at the moment, trying to pretend that none of this matters, that um, everything is okay. And that's great if we can actually push on through and break down below those support levels. So far, that's been a struggle. So we're going to have to stay on our toes and realize that there is some danger here in the market with this volatility. And we could see that that quick spike come back in at any time. If I place some price action lines on here, you can see we've got some price support and that transfers all the way back here. Notice all these levels in here where we created some of that price support we're trying to hold on to that level right now it would be really nice to see that break down break back below that level here before the weekend just don't know that we're going to have that kind of energy in the market but it's certainly possible so here we are trapped between a 50-day moving average and a 200-day moving average in the vix kind of an interesting situation where we're trapped notice the important one of the important things of that is the 50-day moving average is crossed down below the 200-day moving average that's not a positive cross for us here in the chart so let's watch that carefully um in here if we continue to bounce around in here we could just see that choppy market if we could finally break this down break down below there that would be a nice thing to see um, in the market and really a bit of calming coming into the price action so anything is possible here watch that closely some complications yet to um, be resolved here in this chart let's take a look at t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio and I wish I could tell you that four week new high new low ratio whoops um, it was going to give us some clues here but honestly it's not here's the daily chart and we've had this bouncing around happening here in t21 22 and we ended up settling yesterday kind of right here in the middle of the range so what that means is we have about an equal opportunity to move back down into here or to move up it's not giving us any clear direction and i suspect with options expiration day we could see an awful lot of chop again in today just choppy price action there's not a lot of news to to move on unless we get something politically or something that breaks that they're going to get us a, a stimulus package or something like that that would certainly motivate us but as we kind of bounce around here sliding into the weekend we could see a lot more of just some chop in here a lot more price swings and choppy price action but keep in mind we have plenty of upside room and plenty of downside room that we can travel in t21 20 Let's take a look at T2101. This still remains a bit of a problem for me in the fact that we just are not holding on very well. We um, broke this downtrend. We're trying to hang on to this as support. But let's keep in mind the selling is where um, or days where we get selling is where T2101 is where the market breadth really starts to increase. So we'll wanna watch this closely. If we do get a buying wave today, it might be interesting to pay attention to if we do get buyers and see T2101 sinking back. I just can't see that as a good sign if we don't get that market breadth 
pushing the market up. I think we might be running out a little bit of that upside momentum here in the market. It's waning a little bit and that kind of favors the bears just a little bit, particularly with techs uh, struggling just a little. Um, some of the big techs struggling just a little, a little bit of pullback going on. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is a pretty light day, but we do have a couple things we want to pay attention to. First off, let me get rid of that. Doggone it. There we go. Um, we have, oh my goodness, I just keep picking up all my windows here. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, as you can see, um, we have um, consumer sentiment today. Sentiment's supposed to come in pretty good. Um, I don't know that that's gonna move the market around a whole lot today, not much happening there, but we'll wanna pay attention to it for sure when it comes out in case there's a surprise. And then keep in mind, we've got a couple of Fed speakers. James Bullard, the market always seems to really like James Bullard and move on his comments. We'll wanna pay attention to those and we have another Fed speaker later on today. So keep that in mind, but not much here for the market to react to. On um, the earnings calendar, we have even less. We have one company. One company expected to report today, TC. It is a company that's trading in uh, yeah, a sub-dollar range, not exactly something that would be uh, notable or even uh, be paid attention to uh, by the overall market. So not much going on there for us to react to overall. Let's keep in mind, guys, that this is option expiration day for September. We can see a lot of price action happening, uh, a lot of head fakes, a lot of intraday reversals are possible as a result. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up? But before we do that, if you guys would do me a favor, if you'd click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you find these videos to be helpful, if you get something out of them, um, please do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment. Um, that helps me out a lot. And then also, please feel free to just click that share button and share it out on any social, social media to help us continue to grow. If you find it helpful, maybe others will as well. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks. And remember, um, with some of these stocks, that there is no recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to make your own buying decisions on these trades. And some of the trades I'm looking at are those that held up way better than um, the overall market did yesterday. And you guys know that I've mentioned 3M. Uh, 3M, pretty decent chart. If you can see, I had a price alert in here. We popped up through that, consolidated a little bit, and we're pushing on up. 3M's looking pretty good. Now, we do have to recognize a bigger overall downtrend that may still challenge this, but 3M's looking pretty good. This is a good Divi payer. Um, when the market gets uncertain, um, 3M might be uh, one of those places that you might wanna look for a potential trade. Looking pretty good overall. Starbucks, Starbucks held up quite well yesterday. As you can see, I had this alerted right in here, but I was really cautious on buying that. I'm not not in this trade and the reason I was cautious is because we're still considerably far away from this trend and when the market is soft and weak like this I usually expect more chop or consolidation to come into play and we could literally slide this all the way over to the trend but I want to keep an eye on Starbucks it's looking pretty decent we've got a big resistance here that we need to break through and it wouldn't be out of the question to see this just consolidate a little bit more so keep that one on your list it might be something to watch for and prepare for Starbucks um, holding up quite well take a look at Berkshire B the baby Burke looking pretty good here consolidating in a range that we've got a support and resistance range that comes all the way back over here as you can see and we're consolidating that move in here and sliding out here toward this current trend. Let's keep an eye on that. Um, we've got really nothing in here that's um, indicating any heavy selling. So if we can get inspiration here in some way, we could easily see that break to the upside. 
and that pop out could lead to more highs in Berkshire B. So watch that closely. Also keep in mind that if we were to fail here, that kind of changes everything. Um, I call this a pop out of the box pattern, although this is, doesn't truly qualify for a pop out of the box because of the wide range. When we consolidate in a range like this, it, it's really telling us there's no buyers up here. There's no sellers here. And since we're in a current uptrend, I have to favor the upside. And if the pressure builds on this, that pop out is what I'm looking for. So keep a close eye on that if it can break through and move on higher. Kohl's. Kohl's continues to set up here, and I really like this chart. Um, breaking these downtrends, as you can see here in the chart, moved up nicely, and we're consolidating right along this price resistance area. As you can see, I placed a price alert here. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this continue to slide over here toward trend. A little more rest in here and then look for calls to move on higher. Legitimate potential entry in it at any time, but looking pretty good. And we're seeing some of the retail hold up quite well overall. Take a look at some of the Dow big industrial type stocks like Caterpillar. Caterpillar has held up really, really well in this pullback. Showed a nice strength and really following through with that bullishness yesterday. Don't be too surprised if this has to deal with a little bit of more consolidation in here moving back to trend notice how this stock really loves to move off of its trend so keep a close eye on that this is blue sky highs it may have to consolidate this a little bit more up here but caterpillar looking very good john deere is also in that category looking very good very strong um, holding up quite well after breaking out so keep a close eye on john deere looking good um you might want to take a look at some of the hotels like marriott marriott has been holding up it's been struggling here as you can see i've got a price alert on this chart it's been struggling along here and this recent sell-off in the markets causing a little bit of pressure but so far we haven't broken down yet if we can hold a higher low or something in here get those buyers stepping up there may be an opportunity here in some of those hotels as long as covid doesn't really start creeping back up hard there may be uh, more upside potential in those trades watch them close so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day and probably more importantly i want to wish you an awesome awesome weekend everyone with covid kind of perking around here europe causing having some troubles let's be safe out there be careful I want to see you back here bright and early monday morning. Have a successful day and we'll talk to you all first thing Monday morning. Take care everyone.